Now Mark said this, Mark 8.35, For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. Christian discipleship is not just radical self-denial. It's not just, you know, I'm going to fast TV for, you know, 40 days during Lent or whatever. If God leads you that way, that's fine. Uh, you know, it's not just, I'm just going to stop this bad behavior. I, I, it, it is literally what Jesus was saying. It's all in terms of the cross. It is laying down your ambitions. Wait a minute, Pastor, haven't you taught messages that we're supposed to dream with God? Yes. After you surrender completely and you die to self. Then you pick up the cross and you follow him. You begin to live when you fully die. Pastor, you're saying I shouldn't go get education or college, you know, whatever, or training. No, no, do all those things. But the motivation of your heart is Jesus is your passion. You're going to follow him no matter what. It's not just going overseas on a missions trip. It's going wherever he would have you go. It could be to the neighbor next door. Could be praying for church member, friend of yours, coworker, and so it is something more. It's rather a death to your personal ambitions and desires. This is the key part that contradict Jesus. Jesus said, "If you love me, keep my commandments. My commandments are not burdensome." And so, anything that would contradict to a life of faith in Christ. The nature of Christ, the words of God, what he has said, anything that contradicts, that's what we have to die to. Could be works of the flesh, could be sinful desires, absolutely. But it could be our own idolatrous, uh uh-oh, ambitions, desires. And so we always have to weigh it all. Is what I'm longing for, does it line up with what Jesus has asked? Because he may be asking for something totally different. And by the way, he doesn't always ask that you sacrifice everything. All he's asked you to do is die to your own life and your own ambition. To really say that you're a Christian means that you are a follower of Jesus throughout the rest of your life. Every day. You're obedient to the Word. You're obedient to the leading of the Spirit of God. You're willing to go and be what He wants you to be at that moment, at that time. It's not just a prayer prayed on the altar. It's not just a prayer that you pray at home and you've been watching somebody on TV. You've reached a desperate place and it's like, well, maybe I'll try that Jesus thing. And all of a sudden a prayer is made in desperation because you're in a jam. And the beautiful thing with God is he'll answer you in the jam. But what he's really after is your heart and will you follow him through the cross and onward.